Today we are going to learn another type of problems on uh, rectangles. You see in this problem, uh, the top weave of a the top weave of a square lamina of side 30 mm is a rectangle of side 13 to 20 mm. So it's like uh, your isosceles triangular problem, wherein first we have to construct a square here, square of dimension 30, and your second uh, diagram will be a rectangle. Okay. After that, we have to proceed with the longer side of the rectangle being parallel to both HP and VP. So you can see in this problem, they have not mentioned any kind of inclinations. Okay, there are no inclination to HP or VP. So based on the question given, based on the questions, we have to do it. First thing is we have to construct a square lamina of dimension 30. We see the top view. So top view of a square lamina means first projection will be in square, second will be in rectangle. Okay, rectangle of side 13 to 20. Instead of giving an angle, uh, they mentioned the weaves here. Okay, first I will proceed with the question here. Okay, so you can see in this. First, we have to draw an xy line. Okay, xy, vp, hp, and y. First, we have to construct a square of dimension 30. Square of dimension 30. I want to construct these four boxes. Sorry, that is a three boxes, right? So dimension thirty here. Square of thirty, we have to construct. So this is our top view A, B, C, and T. So it is 30 mm. So the front view, what do we get here? it on this line okay so that is b dash c dash visible but a dash and t dash not visible now you can see in this uh, problem you have to get a rectangle they have not mentioned any kind of inclination instead of that they have mentioned a one weave that is rectangle so in the second position we are going to incline the square lamina such that we get a rectangle here rectangle of 30 by 20 if i project from this side Okay, project from this side so we will get a longer side of 30 okay we'll get a longer side of 30 so first I will get uh, draw 30 then 20 we have to construct here 30 by 20 right so 30 by 20 this is the rectangle that is a b c d 30 by 20 rectangle so so we can show the dimensions here so this we know this is 30 and this is 20 okay okay now we have to find out the angle of inclination how to do it just projecting the lines upward here okay so take a reference of here this b dash and u dash reference so by measuring this length from this b dash to c dash okay so we are going to cut the arc so this is c dash and d dash now we have to join this after cutting the arc then we will find out how much angle of inclination here so here in i'm getting around 48 degree So this is what the first position second. Now we have to see, you can see in the question, the longer side, longer side of the rectangle, longer side of the rectangle being parallel to both HP and VP. So longer side of the rectangle. So this is what the longer side of the rectangle, right? 30 mm. This is what you have to make it both parallel to HP and VP. So in this position, in this position, it is parallel. Okay, it is parallel to HP now. We have to make it parallel to VP. How to make it parallel to this? What is this? Edge? AB, it is parallel to parallel to HP now. Okay, 
so this position it is parallel to HP how to make it parallel to VP means we will take this AB side here like this we will draw like this so that will become parallel to VP so you can see in this uh, here it is 30 right so 30 right here 30 by 20 right 30 by 20 rectangle this is how 30 by 20 so this is B A T C correct so yes so we have done so now we can see this this AB and which is parallel to HP now it is become parallel to VP here so now we will project it upward to complete the final position so in this uh, I see it so p dash not visible and c and uh, we have c dash we get it here and d dash we are getting here and a dash we are getting here so this is what the actual final view okay so now you can see in this question draw the top and front views of the lamina you have to find out the inclinations okay inclinations of the surface of the lamina with hp and vp we got one inclination that is inclination to sp to find out inclination to vp what we do here in first we will draw an x1 y1 line okay x1 y1 line okay we'll draw 45 degree angle line here to this reference point to this uh, to this point okay so this is 45 degree angle line we'll draw then we have to start from this top view okay, that is the 45 degree angle line okay then we have to project it upward it is touching okay so then from this uh, front view also so we have to project now we have to see where this the top view notations and the front view notations are merging okay here we get you can see that here exactly here at this point we have b double dash and a double dash similarly here exactly at this point we have c double dash and t double dash so this is what our side view okay this is what our side view now we can find out this is what the angle of inclination to hp this is what the angle of inclination to vp so if you just measure it so already we have got this this is 48 degree right this is 48 degree so this is 42 degree 48 plus 42 means 90 degree so this is how we completed the problem okay parallel to hp here now it is parallel to vp that's how we have proceed in this problem